All right, welcome back. This is MDog, and I thought we would uh, mostly just do a little more fishing with Cibarillo. Man, you can get that thing all the way, <laughs> all the way to the no problem. Uh, a little bit of Cibarillo fishing here at Belaya River. We can also talk a little bit more about Yama speculation. So at this point, it is May 30th, the evening of May 30th. So I think all of the preview streams, or at least most of them, have already happened, including the English language stream, as well as many of the other uh, languages as well. Um, there could still be more that I, I, mean, I haven't really been keeping track of every single one that's going to happen, but a lot of them have occurred at this point. Uh, one of the things I thought was really interesting, I don't know that it tells us a whole lot, but the fact that all of the preview streams that I, that I saw at least, um, the, the streamers were pretty much using the same, uh, they were certainly using the same bait fish, right? The lamprey and... What was the other one? Um, I think if I see it, I'll recognize it. Because again, so many people were using it. It wasn't Gudgeon. It was Siberian Char Loach, I think. Or was it Gudgeon? I think it was Siberian Char Loach. They had this on one, right? And then they had Lamprey on the other. So... That was interesting. Is is it really going to be, you know, a big bait fish map? Uh, certainly a lot of the different species seem to, at least those two particular bait fish, they seem to go for them. I don't know if that necessarily means anything or not, though. Um... And then besides that, of course, it's a it's mostly that map's going to be mostly about spin fishing. And so the other thing we saw was a lot of spin fishing uh, from the folks. So very interesting. Um, in a minute, I'll show you the we do have two feeder rods in down there. I'll kind of show you what I'm using here in a minute on the feeder rods. But again, I don't know that that necessarily is something we can take a lot out of. I mean, I, I think my expectation is that there will be other, even on bottom feeders, certainly with float fishing, there will be other things that we can, um, that we can, you know, get going at the new place. But I, I, I mean, I would have to assume that, uh, ooh, Oh, we just got snagged on that rock, didn't we? I was like, man, that's a fish. Um, I, I, there must have been some sort of like, you know, basic instruction of like, okay, we want you to fish with bait fish. And then on your other, on your third rod, we want you to spin fish. Um, the first couple of folks who did it seemed to use Cibarillo. Later, I think we saw folks that were using a uh, more variety of different lures and such. I saw a lot of hunter lures um, being used, some spinner baits, poppers. So there was some variety there, I guess. I don't know. This, this doesn't seem to be working. I was trying this out. I've never tried it before here. I actually have a spinner bait on, but then a sinking Cibarillo. So again, one of the things that you can do with these Cibarillos is, you know, take something that normally would stay towards the, the top and, and force it to sink a little bit, or take something that normally would sink and, and uh, force it to stay pretty close to the top. Um, but two of the baits that would have been really cool to see tested at the Yama River, one of them is the, is the row bait, right? So that will be interesting to see how many of those species go for row. Now it's kind of a double-edged sword, right? Because at this point, at least, we're not able to gather row. 
I would like to think that eventually we're going to be able to gather row if it becomes a significant bait. Uh, you know, there's other fishing games that allow you to harvest certain fish to get to gather the row. Seems like that's something that they could implement. Uh, that bait would make sense for places like Yama and even here, I would think. But the other bait that we know has at least been tested off stream because we saw it on the on the weekly or on the, the record list for Yama is a couple of the smaller fish have been caught on the Gamorous. Now, nothing big had been caught, it didn't look like, but some of the smaller species. So a couple of baits that would be interesting to test more with different hook sizes, different spots. And of course, there's a other lots of other baits that would be fun to test as well, including, you know, some of the normal um, high-end baits like uh, rhinos and chafers and mole crickets and all. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff that we just don't know if if they would really do anything at that place or not. All right, so we put the floating Cibarillo on and immediately we catch something over there. Again, the cool thing, and I, I've never used Cibarillo here at, Bel at uh, Belaya, but I was sort of curious, uh, kind of reaching a little farther past your normal ultralight cast, if it might give us a chance to catch something. Um, this looks like a little, is that a chub? It's very small, whatever it is. But we're getting this pretty far over there. Well past where I would normally cast here. So that was the first thing that stood out to me, watching those some of those preview streams. i tell you the other thing that stood out um, was there were certain screens that it seemed like they were not either allowed to go to or they weren't sure if they were able to go to. Uh, for example, I, I never saw anyone open up the tackle, tackle, score, tackle store. Uh, I also didn't see anyone go to the skills. Now, y'all correct me if you saw. Some of you may have seen more of the streams than I did or parts of a stream that I missed. Ooh, there we go. Um, I was trying to see what this is. Is that a little asp, maybe? Or is that a brown trout? Looks like that's a brown trout, yeah. So we're catching the fish, but we're catching the small fish. <clears throat> so, and so to me, the big speculation is Will there be a surprise? Um, the ultimate surprise would be, oh, actually we are releasing. Actually we are releasing fly fishing with the update. Now, I'm not saying this is, it, I definitely heard people saying over the weekend, oh, fly fishing's not gonna come with the update, but they're saying they're still working on it and it's coming later. I never saw that from a reliable source. I never saw that posted on the forums. I never heard anyone that you would say like, oh, they definitely know for sure. But I heard it enough that someone must have been saying that. Um, and so again, is that true? Fly fishing is definitely not coming out with Yama. It seems that way. But that would be a kind of an interesting little surprise is maybe putting a little false information or misleading information and then actually fly fishing is in, in the update is in the update. Um, the only other reason I could think of not wanting people to see the tackle store and this one might be more um, this one might be more realistic. I think at this point it's unfortunately looking like it's a pretty slim chance that we're gonna get uh, fly fishing with Yama but what might be more realistic is that they may have just added uh, something new, some new gear, new baits, um, even something small. I mean, something could have just been tweaked and maybe the dev team has just decided like, hey, we're gonna let a couple streamers preview this, but we wanna hold back some surprises. So don't go crazy with fishing with a lot of different baits and don't look in the tackle store because we've introduced something new or we've changed something around a little bit. 
that seems like a more realistic thing to me at this point than fly fishing is actually going to be in the Yama update from day one. I still believe that fly fishing will be coming. Uh, I don't see, I think that at the point, I mean, they've been talk, uh, you know, some of you have been around as long as I have or even longer. Some of you are a lot newer and been and a lot more recent, but there has been talk of fly fishing from official sources um, that it was at least something that was been, that they wanted to do for a long, long time, right? It kind of goes in that bucket with the player market, some sort of auction house or whatever. Also in that bucket would be things like separating the audio on the boats. These are all things that have been talked about for years. Like, yes, that is on the whiteboard of things that either we want to do or are, we are doing. Um, these aren't just like things that players have said would be cool. There's been some level of confirmation. So, but I guess what I'm saying is when you get to the point of putting fly fishing real posters up at Mosquito, surely you've moved past the point of saying like, yeah, we're, we're playing around with this, trying to see how we might could make it work. And, and you're more at a position of saying like, we're pretty committed to putting this in the game. Uh, in fact, it's in the later stages of development. You know, that, that would be my hope. That would, that would be my educated guess is, I guess, the best category to, to put that in. But um, so I still think fly fishing will come. Uh, will there ever be uh, boats at Yama? I don't know. I heard different, different people say, like, oh, somebody confirmed that eventually they want to put kayaks in Yama. I mean, I, I don't know. That, that might not be reliable. Will we really be able to buy waders and walk between the islands? I mean, I've heard people say that that was said in, in one of the streams. Unfortunately, it was in a language that I don't understand. And I did not hear that said in the English speaking stream. Now, I may have missed it. I saw about 80% of Puni's stream from Yama today. So, and I haven't gone and looked for the VOD if it's even there to try to fill in the gaps of what I missed. By the way, I think that would have been a tough stream to do. Um, ideally what you want, I think as a community, is you probably would like to have uh, someone on the dev team be in Discord with the person who is previewing a new body of water so that maybe there can be a little bit of Q&A, a little bit of back and forth, even like how fascinating would it be to hear some of the, just the stories from the development process of Yama. Um, I think there's a lot that could be done there. Now, I don't know how many people on the core development team speak well enough English that they would be confident doing that. Uh, and I'm not sure that it's helpful to have an English speaking admin who maybe just doesn't have those answers, doesn't have those stories. Uh, so I get that, but I think in an ideal world, that's what you want. Cause you know, the hope when you're watching a stream like that is that there will be some back and forth, right? You'd like to ask some questions like, oh, interesting, you know, what's behind this or, or what's going on with that? Or, um, you know, why were these particular fish species chosen? And um, so, you know, that kind of stuff, but that's not what we got. Uh, and so that's why I think it's a hard stream to do because there's a certain amount of desire on the community's part to have that Q and A uh, but really all the streamer is doing is just previewing a body of water, not really answering questions. You know, I mean, it's just, it's just different, right? So by the way, this has worked okay. I, I I'm not really, I, I think we probably would have done a little better, just normal ultralight. Um, but I'm, uh, <laughs> 
this is the first time I've ever done this here, so this is really just an excuse for me to talk about Yama and try out some of the techniques that I think will be worth trying once we get to Yama. Um, so that that's just sort of some speculation. Uh, again, just guessing. Just This is just me talking out loud about possibilities on what would motivate not wanting to show the tackle store if, in fact, that was even a thing. Uh, it, it seemed to be a thing to me, but... I could have I could have misread it could have misunderstood um, the other piece that I mentioned already that I thought was interesting was that we didn't see on that build we never saw somebody's skill page now again there could be all reason reasons for that one one reason it might be because like hey they're still finalizing some things and but but one thought i had was do you want to use night crawlers or uh or fish pieces here i wonder if you're just like messing around hoping you might catch a burbot i'm not sure one thought i had about the skills page um and i guess this might be like maybe the least exciting reason for not showing the skills page, but I think it is, could be the reason. It's not unheard of for them to add a category um, to a skills page before the actual thing is in the game. And I'm almost certain that that's the case. And someone else can sort of correct me if I'm wrong or fill in the gaps because I don't want to say something and maybe I'm and maybe I'm wrong, but I, I'm I'm pretty sure that using a heavy conventional reel, that there was some skill like that in the game. It may have focused, it may have actually said something about I don't know if it had conventional in it, but I believe that they have bef at least once put a new skill in we've got a bite on something oh my goodness we caught something on row but it's tiny um so i guess you know all that leading up to say this maybe they already put fly fishing in the skill tree even though fly fishing isn't in the game and and maybe or maybe they're considering doing that and so maybe they didn't want to show that because it's it's not finalized yet or they're not sure. We just caught a rough on row. Okay, so you maybe you want to have a little bigger hook. Uh, at nighttime, though, I'm more curious here about can we get a burbot? This may not even be the right spot, but we've got these we've got these fly caster sinkers on, and also changed it to basic bottom instead of loop rig, which is what I often use. Um, and so maybe fly fishing is its own category or more likely maybe fly fishing is now integrated into spin fishing uh, and they've decided to go ahead and put the skill points I mean not the skill points but the skill category in the game even though the, the actual technique is not available yet and so you know if that's the case maybe they didn't want to show that yet And again, uh, I could be wrong. Maybe someone did look at their skill tree, skill point, uh, their skill trees, but I never saw it. And I, I specifically saw people asking in chat to pull up the skills. And then it seemed like there was maybe an admission that, yeah, that's not something I can do. Um, so I, 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 I just, I don't think we ever saw skills. So is, has something changed in here? Again, probably the least exciting option that may be the case would be yeah, they've added something, but what they've added isn't in the game yet. Uh, but they've just added that category. Uh, again, more exciting option would be, um, you know, fly fishing's in the game. <laughs> and, uh, or, you know, we, yeah, they've fly fishing's in the game, and they also have added some flies to the uh, lure, making lures or whatever. And there's all kinds of fun stuff to discover that we just haven't don't know about yet. Um, or, or they could have redone the skill trees. I mean, you know, it, it's, it's technically still considered to be an early access. I think they still 
reserve the right and probably always will reserve the right to say, uh, you know, for balance reasons or whatever, we've decided that we're going to change how the skill tree looks or what categories are where. They've certainly made those changes over the years in the past, and a lot of those have been good changes. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, you know, between row and the 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 gamorous, I would have thought we would have caught a fish on the gamorous first. I really didn't know that row would catch a fish at Belaya. It definitely wasn't a good fish, was it? Um, so yeah, I'm just, I am, I have to say I was left with way more questions than I expected to be left with after watching someone run around at the new map for two hours and, um, and fish. Uh, I guess I didn't consider that there might be some limitations on what they'd be allowed to do or restrictions or such a focus on what they were doing. I didn't look at the coordinates of the spots that people were fishing, but man, it sure seemed like we saw mostly two spots being fished on every stream, one on each side of the river. Now, I think the Portuguese streamer I noticed when I watched a little bit of that was walking up and down the bank uh, a little more. So kind of seeing a few more spots, which was nice. Um, I did see the first one, right, the German underwater Frank. I believe he did look in the cafe briefly, if I'm not mistaken. I think that was on the video that I, when I reviewed or watched his video and, and did some commentary over it. Uh, but after that, I didn't even see anybody. I don't, I think they were basically, there might have been instruction. Yeah, don't look in any of the stores um, other than the fish market. By the way, we've made eight silver since we've been we've been talking here. I don't know what the nighttime thing, I mean, the only thing I know for nighttime, unless there's something over here for Belaya you could do, I've spent very little, you know, if I'm being honest here, I've spent very little time at Belaya. That's a pretty decent sized bream, and it's interesting it's on night crawlers. Were they targeting bream, or was this burbot fishing gone wrong? <laughs> could have been. Oh, there's catfish here? Well, if we hook into a 40 kilo catfish on my little Boonison rod, that's not good. Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing. Belaya has never hit me right. It, 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 I've never settled in. I've never, you know, just, it, it's a missed opportunity for me probably to have not spent more time I love seeing that. Somebody came back with a rodent lure and caught a really nice time in here. That's awesome. That is really cool. So what else can we say? I mean, I, I'm, I'm really curious and, and I, I wish I w would have been able to stream tonight, but I'm working. So if, if I suddenly end this video, it's because I'm getting pulled away for work. but. I'm just really curious. I think I'm curious about what the excitement level is of the community right now. Um, I think the strength of Yama to me right now appears to be the variety of fish you can catch spin fishing. And if the, if, if the fish activity is fairly healthy, with that many species in the water. Um, I suspect that some people are a little more excited about Yama after seeing it than they were after just seeing the preview video. I'm just guessing that some people would fit into that category. And I think I fit into that category. I, I was pretty honest in the last video that my expectations for Yama after the preview video were significantly lowered. Uh, as far as my, my expectation of how much I personally would enjoy it. I think after seeing it being fished and imagining like, okay, there's got to be, not only does that look pretty fun, there's a lot to try. There's something to be said for forcing us to spin fish from the shore. Uh, and maybe I say that because of 
all of the positive good memories I have from fishing from shore, spin fishing from shore or spin fishing from an anchored boat um, back before it, trolling was kind of the main thing. Trolling was always a thing starting at Cory, but it became the main thing at some point. Um, and so it's an opportunity to just kind of enjoy spin fishing again in, in its more, in, you know, natural state of standing in a spot, casting and working on different retrieval methods and then changing up different rig types. And, you know, there's going to be a lot of like probably pretty enjoyable exploration, even with that. What are the lures that hit the most amount of different species and, and seem to be hitting nice size of the species we want to target? Um, are there other things we can do on bottom rods that even if it's a slow bite rate, it's worth doing? Uh, a lot of attention in those streams was paid to the, what were they called? Kaluga or something? And I'm assuming that's some sort of really big fish, right? And, and, and I, I don't know, it didn't look like anybody had caught a huge one yet, but maybe we don't know for sure, but I think I'm, my, my, my guess is that that's going to be one of those like massive fish that, um, only the brave will target kind of thing. Now, maybe it won't be as bad as the beluga, different types of belugas, but it, maybe it will be. I, I don't know. Um, I, it'd kind of be nice to me if it's more, more along the lines of sturgeon size. I mean, trying to fight something in that current from shore that big man <laughs> i don't i just don't know there's so much room to run you really just got to keep it in front of you but um so yeah you know there's still so much we don't know even after seeing the different fish species in terms of what's going to work there um i saw one person attempt float fishing right i think in again underwater frank possibly tried to do some match fishing I don't know if he ever caught anything. It looked like supposedly float fishing was like two stars. I mean, it's really, the stars are similar to Belaya. At least on the preview build. In fact, it might've just been one star bottom, two star float. Somebody might remember better than I do, but it was definitely full for spin. So hopefully you can get something working with float, something working with bottom, but it's not going to be, there's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be like going to Volkov or Octuba, certainly. Uh, there's no carp species. But I still, I guess I'm just hoping that there will be some, something rewarding that can be done on, on bottom fishing or float fishing. Um... Because if it's all spin fishing or mostly spin fishing, which I guess it is, what that means for me is I'm just going to have to be in the mood and I won't always be in the mood, you know, but for other people, that's perfect. And I, and I fully embrace that idea that we need bodies of water that are diverse and some of them like Octuba, for example, is diverse in and of itself. But then some of them, like Amber Lake, is diverse in the sense that that water body is really exciting for people who are into bottom or carp fishing. And, and something like Belaya or maybe even Yama is just going to be really exciting for people who are just sold out into spin fishing. But again, with the variety of species and everything, if I'm in the mood like that, again, my excitement about Yama is higher now than it was before the preview streams. I'm not like super excited, but it's higher now than it was. Um, 
Do these poppers even work here? At Belaya? And if they do, that's what I should have done with Sibarillo because the prob one of the problems with the poppers like at a place like this is you just can't cast it far enough. Whoa. Okay, that's a grayling. Okay, hold on. So let's try what we were doing, except let's use the popper. And let's just see. All right, hold on. Maybe we'll have to do this the old fashioned way. Yep. Okay. Let's see if we can get a fish, though. Now we've got a, a pretty heavy leader. Oh, there we go. Pretty heavy leader right now, to be fair. I hope that's on this side of the rock. Yeah, it is. Is that a perch? Did we just get perched at Belaya? But I am, I am excited about going for all of those salmon, salmonoid, trout, whatever species at Yama. I, I am excited. I'm, I'm more excited than I was. Um, it looks good. It looks fun. Uh, without fly fishing, that takes some of the... takes some of the excitement out, but not all of it. And... Um, Again, I, I, I really do still believe fly fishing is coming. Personally. Not that I'm, not that I don't, I could be wrong, but I tend to think it's coming. All right, the other thing I want to try is throw that spiker back on the ultralight and see if we have like better success than we did on the Cibarillo. And of course, the, the great mystery is, when will we all be playing Yama? My guess when the preview build came out, and this was a little hopeful on my side, but I don't think oh, completely unrealistic, but my guess was this coming Tuesday. Um, which again, may not be right. <laughs> uh, I, in fact, I think I even said in that preview video, when they did the preview, I think I said, okay, Tuesday or the following Friday. So in other words, June 2nd or June 4th were my two guesses, but those are just guesses. And wouldn't it be nice, and, and, and I don't know that we'll have this, but wouldn't it be nice just, just to go ahead and clear the air, clarify when Yama drops, say, hey, you know, here's the patch notes. This is everything in this, uh, in this update. Uh, we know that there's been a lot of, you know, talk about wonder, whether whether or not fly fishing would be in this update. It's it's not, but we want to let you know that that is something that's coming, and we're working on it. As soon as it's you know meets the standards of the uh, quality that we expect for this game, then it will be put into the game. You know, just something. Um, I just think that would be really maybe helpful. I'm, I'm not sure that there's a track record that would say that specific of information would be available beforehand before something actually released. Uh, but 
I think that would be pretty cool if they did do something like that. So, granted, different time of day. We're fishing in the morning instead of the instead of the afternoon, like when we first started. But I don't know. Seems like our bite rate is a little better on a more traditional UL setup than it was on the Cibarillo. Uh, but that doesn't mean that we couldn't get there on the Cibarillo. We may just need to do some arranging, some testing. Try out different, different setups, different leader sizes. Uh, but this definitely just seems a little healthier in terms of getting the fish bites. It's like, Almost as soon as I throw it in the water, we're getting something here. I mean, I may just record a little bit more just because this is like your one chance to see me fish at Belaya. <laughs> uh, let's see if we have anything on the two feeder rods. And again, I, I probably just have those feeder rods in the wrong position. So you see how like sometimes you get it on, when you first when it first hits the water, you first start reeling it. Other times you get it on the paws. Get a lot of fish on that paws. Now, if you're high enough level to Tunguska to go to Tunguska, the question is: Is it is it ever worth fishing ultralight here at Belaya versus Tunguska? Just from a like silver and xp per hour kind of perspective i mean as far as like yeah do what's fun explore different places of course it's worth it but this feels a lot like what i do at tunguska and at tunguska it's fire usually you know so i don't know Okay, any other speculation we want to do here on the what I think will be the last few days before Yama is actually out? I mean, I, I haven't said anything like completely outlandish, I don't think. I'm not trying to like blow anybody's minds with some sort of weird prediction. Um, and I don't even know that this has been that interesting of a video. I just felt like there was some things that we could talk about. I couldn't stream today, but I still felt like there was some things we could talk about from the information, both the information that was provided during the preview videos, as well as the information that wasn't provided during the preview videos. What kind of weird line do I have on this ultralight, by the way? Micro braid with a little leader, and you could probably do just as well without the leader. If I had to guess, let's speed this up a little bit. Are leaders even necessary with these little spinner baits? Mostly they're just moving. Maybe they do help. I don't know. I could also see just putting straight fluorocarbon line. Just, just put on some floral line and go. I've been pausing so much. The one thing I haven't done that sometimes works here is the speed up, right? Speed it up and then stop and let somebody grab it. So what's a reasonable uh, fluorocarbon size? Maybe 6.4 and if we hit a trophy asp, we'll just suffer. And if we hit a timing, we'll just alt F4. And check the um, oh, let's go with the blue
I'm gonna let casting down here at this rock. And I think the people that fish here a lot also have told me, just close your close your uh, reel, your and just let it let it float for a minute. I mean, let it just like yeah drift in the current for a minute. So just kind of get it out there, close your bail, and then just let it sit. Like that. Okay, so I think fly fishing with Yama is still a very small possibility. A little subterfuge shock us into, uh, into the surprise, but I think all signs in all likelihood, what we're looking at is no fly fishing with the release, but at some point down the line, fly fishing will be added particularly to target Yama and re reworking of winding. Uh, that's, that's what it seems like to me. Yama seems fun. I will be, uh, hopeful that there is going to be some type of surprise, something that hasn't been announced yet, whether it's new equipment, new baits, something new lures. I mean, it's a spin fishing map, right? So, so it might make sense that there's some kind of new gear, new, rods and reels or uh, new baits, new artificial baits, new lures, something that might be kind of held back as a surprise. Obviously it doesn't look like there's gonna be boats or wading into the water, maybe ever, but certainly with the release of Yama, I think that that would have been shown Overall, the XP for the fish looked fine. Looked, some of it looked good. Some of it looked like kind of average. Uh, silver looked pretty good. It's hard to know on a preview build, like how realistic will that be as weather changes, as spots change, whatever, like how consistent. Um, but it looked pretty solid. One thing that was just strange to me was how fast they were getting bites on those two particular bait fish. And I'm sure everyone had this thought, but it's like, okay, well, what if you put in bait fish that are easier to get? Although somebody said that that, that uh, loach, whatever char, whatever loach thing was that was on one of the lines is not that hard to get at Tunguska. I don't, I don't know that I've ever tried to get those bait fish before. Um, but certainly the other one is difficult, right? So what if you put bleak out there? What if you put gibble, crucian, roach? Uh, what if you put rough? Now, the weird thing is those are, I think, all species that don't exist naturally on that river. But I don't know that that necessarily means they won't work, but it could. Um, so yeah, just a lot of testing to be done, even just with the bait fish, but man, wasn't it weird? The bite rate on the bait fish seemed, seemed really solid. And it also seemed like though you were in danger of, even if it's rare, you were in danger of catching the Kaluga or whatever it was. So you kind of have to be ready for that. But yeah, I'm excited. Tried a lot of lures, a lot of spin fishings in our, in our near future. Um, it has made me take a look again at that Trout Master rod. Um, if you're not using Sibarillo, the casting distance might be helpful. Anything that has a bonus to casting distance might be worthwhile. But um, I'm not sure that I'm really going to be spending a whole lot of silver. I mean, it's hard to say that without knowing what's going to be in the update. But if the expectation is or the hope is that hey eventually we're going to be getting fly fishing then i still may be mostly saving just until that comes out hey there's the bream there's the bream we were talking about 
I'm not targeting bream, but you sometimes get them. Best fish we've caught this whole video, right? No burbot. Again, probably just not in the right spot. I, I, maybe farther down. Um, also probably should use bigger feeder rods or even carp rods and get them out there a little farther into the deep area. Although with these casting sinkers, we're able to cast really far. Uh, so anyway, I, I have loved the, um, oh man, such a good grayling order, but I won't make you, uh, watch me fish Belaya anymore. It's already probably been pretty traumatic for, for you as a community. We did make 20 silver in 33 minutes though. Uh, and that is my experience at Belaya, <laughs> and it always has been. Not that there hasn't been times when, it, when it's been a little better. I mean, there's been times the graylings have been just popping out of the water. Or, um, you know, I, I appreciate Belaya for the chance to come get a bunch of trophy bleak and bait fish. Um, we also saw about a week ago, pretty interesting, like, roach spot over here, but... I just haven't given Belaya a fair chance, and I recognize that, but... Oh, I've enjoyed seeing everyone's responses on recent videos, as everyone, I think, is just excited, or maybe some folks aren't very excited, but anticipating, trying to predict what's going to come. And I'm curious what you're thinking now. After we've seen the preview streams, are you more or less excited? Are there predictions that you now have based on what was shown or not shown? Um... What do you think will be the, uh, the popular uh, rigs? Do you think it will be uh, Sibarillo? Do you think uh, like some sort of jigging rig, Texas rig, Carolina? I mean, is something unexpected going to emerge? Will it be ultralight and light setups? Kind of like, uh, you know, what a lot of folks do at Tunguska now? Uh, there's just it's gonna be interesting what what baits will work on bottom or float what what are the first things you're wanting to try based on what you've seen or not seen okay thank you all so much for watching thanks for listening to me really just sort of fish but mostly just talk at you for 45 minutes hope everyone's doing well tight lines I will see you soon been having some good fishing at Bear. I don't know. Might make another video a little, little later tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. But uh, look forward to seeing you soon. I'm hoping I'll be able to stream Tuesday night, a night early this week, because of change in work schedule. So hopefully I'll see you guys Tuesday night or late afternoon. Have a good one. See you later.